Hi, this is Mr. Kresselt, and in this video we're gonna, I'm going to be showing you how to make a multi-view drawing um, of products that you've already created. This is of an L-shaped part that, um, that, my, what, that we made for um, an assignment in my class. To do it, we just go up here to the New button, and we, I always select this little arrow right next to it. And we're going to go down to Drawing, because we're going to make a multi-view drawing. And to bring in our part, we go to Base. And from here, we have to simply just go ahead and we have to kind of like search through our our files to get um, the, the the part file that we made. And here, I shaved my, I saved mine as L shaped part. So I just click open. And I'm going to give it a scale size of one to one. That's actual size. Actually, why don't I change it to one half? That'd be about half the actual size. And you kind of have a preview down here. And there's these three different styles. Um, the first style is um, basically an outline and of, of your part, and it will show the hidden lines. Uh, the second one here is just the outline of your part, and it will actually take the hidden lines out. And the last one here is a, they call it shaded. This is sort of like an uh, actual view of your, of your product. It will show you the texture that you put on the, for the surface and everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the shaded option. I kind of like that one the best for this project. And you just click OK. And there it is. That's our base view. So you can just drag this down over here to the left hand side. And it's really simple. And all I have to do now is give it our top isometric and our right side view. So we need to project these views. And to do it, we just click on the projected um, button up here. And it, it will just kind of tell you what it does. It generates an orthographic or iso isometric view. So just click on projected. Click on our base view. And then we can just go ahead. And I'm just simply, I'm not even holding down the mouse at all. I'm just clicking. I'm about, I left click right here in the lower right hand corner. And right now I just have, you know, a bunch of boxes. We have to create this file. So when we're ready, just anywhere on the screen, I'm going to right click. Once again, that was a right click. And I go to create. And what that does now is it takes a couple seconds and it generates. Um, the actual drawings that we've made. The only thing left we have to do is to add some dimensions. And that's pretty simple. We go up here to annotate, the annotate tab. And I usually tell students that annotate, you know, is a fancy way of saying, you know, writing things. So we're gonna we're gonna click on that and we're gonna write in some dimensions. So right here are the two tools we're gonna use, dimension and text. Right, so if we want to write some words, like I usually tell students, you know, we'll write our name here in the project title right here. So let's add some dimensions. Now, whenever I add dimensions, sometimes it's kind of tricky knowing which ones to put in. But we always want to start with the three basic ones. The length, the width, and the height. Now to do that, you'll notice that if we zoom in really close, the dimensions are already in there. Because when we made the part, we dimensioned it, remember? So the program remembers all these dimensions. And it will put them in there for us. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add a dimension here for the secondary height of this little lip right here. And to do it, I want the dimension be, to be from the distance from the bottom to here. So I'm just going to click on those two lines, here and here, and just drag it out. Probably on this way, just to keep it a little more organized. Notice how I spread my dimensions around. I didn't clutter up just one of the views with you know a bunch of dimensions. I have a, a dimension on pretty much every view. You can even add dimensions onto your ISO drawing up here as well. And there you have it. This, this one is complete. Um, we are actually missing one more dimension here, so I'm going to simply click here and here and drag it out. And two inches sounds about right. This this drawing is complete. 